A bill that would make it easier for banks to work with marijuana related businesses is a major step closer to becoming law. Yesterday, the House passed the Secure and Fair Enforcement or SAFE Banking Act. The bill would allow banks to serve licensed marijuana businesses without the threat of federal penalties. Right now, the majority of the financial institutions in Maine will not serve businesses that profit from marijuana, which is considered illegal under federal law. For many marijuana caregivers and storefronts, a change is long overdue because dealing in cash, they say, is putting them at risk of being robbed. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story. Dawson Julia owns East Coast CBDs, a medical marijuana caregiver storefront. It brings in about $20,000 a month, but unlike most businesses, Julia can't take the money to the bank. What do you do with your cash? What do you, you know, other than spend it as fast as you can and try to invest in your business, but, um, but it's a dangerous situation. Julia has spent thousands on a high-tech security system after being robbed twice. He says most criminals know that most banks won't service marijuana-related businesses because the feds still consider marijuana illegal, so federally insured banks can't touch his money. So Julia banks with a credit union, one of only two in the state that is willing to work with licensed marijuana businesses. Now his employees are feeling the pinch because of the lack of banking services. My employees who I pay with cash, I don't even give them a, a business check. My employees have had their bank accounts shut down because the bank found out that they work for me. The Safe Banking Act would provide legal marijuana businesses full access to banks and other financial services such as loans and credit and debit card services. Not sleeping, I mean I go days without sleep and that's the side effect of the narcotics that I was on. Navy veteran William Abister suffered from debilitating pain from an injury he received while serving on an aircraft carrier. He says cannabis helped him wean almost completely off of painkillers. It really helped the patients if, if they didn't have to stop at a bank or an ATM before they showed up. They could just come and swipe. Now Julia says that the safe banking app does become law. It could mean that he could offer credit card services for his customers. He could also take out a traditional commercial loan and expand his business to offer more products for his customers, including recreational marijuana. So for now, Julia puts up yet another sign to warn off potential criminals. After a decade of dealing only in cash and fear, he hopes more protection and financial opportunities are finally on the horizon. In Unity, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. The Maine Credit Union League, which represents dozens of credit unions across the state, released a statement this afternoon saying currently many cannabis businesses are conducting their operations through a cash only system. The inability to deposit money leads to substantial public safety and fraud concerns. The House passage of the Safe Banking Act is an important step for getting large sums of cash off the streets and into financial institutions.